Hey y'all, thanks for checking out this video. If you have not been here before, I like to look at collectibles and the respective markets surrounding them to try and figure out potential price changes uh, that may come due to the climate surrounding the product. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about the new Digimon TCG that released in the States this February. The new Digimon card game released in Japan April of 2020, which was right around when everything changed. It immediately found a huge following and became a smash hit, which led to some much hype regarding the US release, which was originally slated for September of that same year. Unfortunately, due to the big changes the world experienced, manufacturing for many products across many industries were affected, trading card games being one of them. Because of this, the release of Digimon was delayed to December and then January of 2021, and finally officially released in February of 2021, almost half a year later since its planned launch. Now, normally this would be great that the product finally launched, however, there was a major caveat. Stores were hit with major allocation issues for this product. Most stores were actually allocated less than 5% of what they originally ordered, and many people's pre-orders were canceled as a result. I pre-ordered the product in October of 2020, and unfortunately my two boxes were canceled. However, in that cancellation email was word that Bandai had officially stopped printing this booster box. I immediately bought one for $200 from TCG Player, which was another pre-order from a third party, and it ended up shipping to me a couple weeks later when it officially launched. It has been almost a month since then, and the prices have stayed at the same price point, which is $200. I personally believe that to be incorrect. Given the extremely low allocation, the hype surrounding the product, and that Bandai has officially stopped producing these version 1 booster boxes, I believe that they can be easily worth double what it, they currently are. Same issues have occurred with the second booster box in Digimon and will likely happen again with the third releasing this May. While I have not heard whether or not Bandai will reprint the next two products, they have been heavily allocated just like version 1 booster has been. And I definitely recommend you guys keep a lookout for them because they have the potential of skyrocketing in price if supply keeps being cut and being dwindled by people opening the boxes. If you are a collector or a player wanting to draft with your friends, now would be an opportune time to buy a box before they steadily rise in value. Some of you may be thinking that the price increases may not occur since there will still be blister packs, theme decks, and other ways of getting the cards to play this game. However, currently all Digimon product across the board is heavily allocated and sealed product carries a premium in the long term. Whether that price increase occurs quickly like other collectibles have or not, only time will tell. But I firmly stand in my belief that this product is currently undervalued and while I may be wrong about it, most indicators seem to say that the price will only increase going forward. Thanks for watching y'all.